Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can add displacement in Blender. Here I have a 3D zombie model with high detail textures. I just want to add displacement to the skin. Let's add a new panel to see the shader. I have a simple shader here with base color, normal map, and etc. All my textures use Udim. If you are not familiar with Udim, don't worry. You can continue watching this video. Udim is not related to displacement. Let's go to the render mode using Z key. As you can see, the model is low poly and it's not very good, but the textures are good. I want to add subdivisions and details using displacement. There are two ways to add displacement. Let's start with the first way. Select the model and go to the modifiers. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Displacement works on the subdivisions. The active method is Catmull Clark. The first number is the subdivision multiplier in the viewport. And the second is render time subdivisions. Let's change the viewport subdivisions. Increasing the value will make the model smoother. It means the current subdivisions of the model will be multiplied by this number. Let's add the displacement modifier. Press the new button to create a new displacement. Then change the coordinates to UV because I have displacement texture. And I want to add it to the model based on UV. Go to the textures and press open button. And select the displacement texture. Ok, now I need to change the source of Udem. As I said, you don't need to know about Udem for this video. Finally, change the color space to raw or no color, since the texture is grayscale. You should select RGB only for some textures, such as the base color. I choose non color. As you can see, something has changed for the model. In the modifiers, I can change the strength, it's the displacement power. This is too much. The best value for me is 1. You can find your ideal value based on your scene and model. I need to increase the number of subdivisions to add more details. As I said, displacement physically works on subdivisions, it's not just normal texture. Now, you can see more details. It's nice, but heavy, especially in edit mode. I can say mid-level is the displacement size. A lower value makes the model fatter and a higher value means the displacement is thinner. The best is 0.5. The first way is done. This method is heavy, as it applies both at render time and in edit mode, but we can preview the displacement. Let's explain the second way. Remove the displace. The second method only works at the render time. We need to go to the shader. I have a displacement field here. I need it. I need to add displacement texture. The color space must be non color because it's grayscale. Let's activate the render mode. And I need a node called displacement. Connect the color to the height. And finally, connect the displacement to the output. Displacement is not active yet. I need to go to material settings. In settings, I need to change displacement to displacement and bump. 
I need to enable this optionally in the second method. Scale value is the displacement power and also you know about mid level. Control space to switch to full screen mode. The details are pretty good, let's compare the two renders. We can increase the subdivisions. As you can see, the model has a lot of details. Well, it's up to you to choose any method to apply displacement. Using the first method, you can see the preview anywhere but it's heavy for edit mode. The second way only works at render time and is heavy only in this status. And increase the subdivisions carefully. As I said, displacement is heavy. Higher values use more RAM and VRAM. And in some cases, Blender or even your system may crash. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.